Today we'll be reviewing these five knee pads and letting you know about their fit and comfort, the protection factor, the quality and how long it's going to last, and what we actually recommend. Briefly, the Fox Launch Knee Shin Pads. I thought these would be fully sick, but it turns out they only come in small, medium or medium large, and I've got small legs. So I couldn't move once I put them on my legs, so I sent them directly back. This is our long-awaited knee pad video. We've bought a lot of these things, we've invested a lot of money into knee pads, and uh, it's hard when you're starting out, when you eventually realise you need knee pads. Generally, maybe you start at the bottom like we did, because we've spent so much on our bikes, our tyres, all that stuff. We went for, essentially, probably the cheapest type of knee pad. These new proof, which we bought from Chain Reactions, were pretty budget. I think they're about $60 they retail for when they're maybe on sale. For a first knee pad, they weren't too bad. It's posted as an enduro pad, and it's for enduro riding. That's its purpose. It's cheap, and it's sort of padded. Fit-wise, they're not too bad in the beginning because they're a bit of a tighter fit and then you wear them a little and they start to fall down your knee a little. So they don't conform to your knee like other knee pads do, so you feel this hollow bit when you have them on. It doesn't feel that great, so you might want something that's a little more snug. Protection wise, we've had a few stacks on these and yeah, you you still feel the the hit but It's a good enough amount of protection for Say your trail riding or your all mountain riding, but definitely not your more serious downhill rides It's actually a pretty solid pad. I gotta say I feel more confident in this pad than some other pads does it stay in place so in an accident? Well, I kind of, with it slipping down all the time and starting to get to me, I sort of switched and moved on to another style of knee pad. So I didn't have any big, big crashes in these, but the little ones I had, it, it seemed to stay in place and it seemed to protect my kneecap. They're not bad. They're not bad. Would I recommend them? As you can see, we've put tech stuff to try to make them less ugly because Looking like a uh, crash test dummy. Not really my thing. Not really, not really, yeah. I think it's pretty ugly. Gotta say it's pretty ugly. So we got the textures out, we got the paint. We tried to make them less ugly. Would I recommend them? You know, they've got a nice stretchy bit on the back to, to breathe a bit, but they do get quite hot in summer. They get pretty hot and I feel they're slippy. Other pads, have other stuff going for them that don't stretch so easily. So maybe, well, they're a bit of a good deal. They'll start you off maybe not so good to be investing in if you're gonna be riding all the time and want something serious. I'd recommend this knee pad for the beginner rider who doesn't wanna to spend too much money on their first knee, knee sleeves. But once you start getting into riding two, three times a week and into more of the enduro side of things, I'd invest a little more. Dionysi Sea Trail Skin, sort of uh, XC Trail rated, obviously not hardcore enduro or downhill because they're fairly lightweight. Both are kind of ripped all over. So I've had a fair few stacks in these and I've also worn them a fair bit. Something I'm not a big fan of, they're quite wide on my kneecap. So I like that they stay in place with the um, Velcro top and bottom. They're a bit kind of awkward wide, like this thing doesn't, even though they're flexible and have the air holes, the whole thing's a bit cumbersome. It's just a bit, it's not the most awesome fit. They also have this side protection bit for if you slide sideways and um, even a little bit on the inside, which is nice, because sometimes I've smashed my knee on my bike frame. I think I've got a video of that. So they're pretty good. Protection-wise, there's, there's a bit of padding, maybe uh, less than two centimeters, maybe about a centimeter of padding. It's okay, protection-wise, it's okay. I, I haven't totally, totally smashed myself in these, 
but it's definitely protected me. They're not my favorite pads for protection, but on days when just going out for a ride and not going to do too big a drops or bigger jumps, I don't mind wearing these. Overall, they're not too bad. Maybe, maybe I should have gone a smaller pad, but I, I think these were small and they seem to fit, but it just seems a bit wide on my kneecap. You know, other than that, not too bad. Pretty decently cheap if you find them cheap and do the job. They're, they're still going, you know, getting a bit looser, but you know, they're going. I just, quality wise, I'm not sure how long these are really gonna last me. For a summer cross country trail riding pad, they're okay. I would recommend these pads for, for the cross country rider, for um, the trail rider that, that aren't looking to do anything too crazy, then, then I'd give them a recommendation. So the G-Form looks amazing, doesn't it? Looks like space age technology. It seemed like a good idea. It seemed really lightweight and that I could just go out riding all day in this super lightweight space age material on the front that apparently becomes hard if I have an accident. If you can see my shins, I've smashed my shins a lot. So I was kind of excited that this knee pad came down a bit further. The thing is with these, Amanda ordered some, I ordered some. I have ultra skinny legs, the skinniest legs in maybe the universe. Amanda got the medium and the mediums actually cover quite a bit of my shin, but the smalls are really pretty small um, and don't cover that much of my shin. So, oh. That was a bit of a letdown. We wanted something that was lightweight and could protect both our knee and shin. You know, all those pedal strikes into the shin, those were getting to us. As far as going riding and having these on my shins, I did the Tartha Enduro wearing these, which, you know, they, they pretty much stayed in place and I got through 75Ks wearing these things without too much hustle. So they definitely breathe. Comfort wise, they're actually really breathable and comfortable. It doesn't feel like you have as much on because they're not so thick. The thing is, they do tend to slide down and then what happens is the knee guard ends up being below the knee. If you do have an accident with the G-Form, which I did one week after wearing, buying these, um, the, you know, the Lycra here, which it's just a pad, sewed onto some lycra uh, has ripped has ripped completely my first crush one week after buying these things protection wise it's a farce these things you've got lycra you've got lycra very breathable stuff there's no straps if you're going any amount of speed with these things you're gonna hit the ground and and kind of move along that ground this is gonna slide so when I did have that crash where I ripped this, I also sort of skinned my knee and I wasn't going that fast. I was just going along a trail and I lost it. I washed out and I went over the handlebars. It wasn't that bad, but this, this didn't do a thing. So it's only really gonna work if you're slow speeding, kind of just banging into something. But if you've got any type of speed, this is gone. This is gonna end off down your ankles. It's not really protective. If they had straps or something like that, it'd probably work. Would I recommend these pads? Not on your life. Confidence wise, sometimes they did give me more confidence. Going to ride where I didn't want to be wearing big meaty knee pads, I felt like I at least had some protection, but it's false confidence. I wouldn't really recommend these at all. So these are your Dekine Slayer knee pads. Got them off uh, Mountain Bikes Direct for about $95. So they retail for a little more than other knee pads, but quality wise, they've, they've really lasted. When you put these on, they're actually quite conforming to the knee. They have this concave sort of shape and it fits really snug. They run quite tight, so just keep that in mind when you're ordering them but they will loosen as you wear them. There's a sticky bit at the top to help them uh, stay on to your thigh, but not at the bottom. There's that opening at the back of your knee, which I really like. That makes it a lot more breathable. 
and I have fallen countless times straight onto my knee with these on and these have saved my knees and I have quite a few scars from not having good knee pads so these have been winners for me. I think they'll last me at least you know four or five more months. I've had them probably almost nine months now. I've just skid a lot and the fabric starting to wear a little but it's so worth it because they have this gel layer that hardens on impact and they're the best fitting knee pad that I've tried so far. When you stand it stays in this shape which is a little awkward but you get used to it and I think that helps with the fit of it as well. I'd really recommend these recommended them to a lot of my friends and I will stick with them. Just keep in mind as well the fit. Some people find that they do loosen over time so they will feel like they're sliding down but the nice thing because of the shape the padding always stays on the knee whereas the top might wrinkle down a little but the protection's always there. So Get yourselves a pair of these if you haven't got one. All right, so getting to the fun stuff, I'm gonna come right out and say it. These have been my favorite knee pads to date. The IXS Carve. I find these tick every single box. Maybe a little hot, but let's get into what they're designed for. These are an enduro type knee pad, pretty heavy going. On the back, they have these big straps. Now, they conform to my knee. This is the, with the fleur on the left is the left one. They fit my knee. They've got a little bit, little bit of leg shin protection. Not too much, but a little bit. And also they've got a little bit above the knee. So it's really quite protective and it fits pretty snug. These type of things, you don't want to put them on when you're going out for a 20 minute bike ride because they take quite a bit of time to put on and take off. It, it really is a struggle sometimes. But once they're on and you've done your straps up, it stays in place. So some of the other knee pads I spoke about, that they just, if you're moving at speed and generally if you're doing jumps and things like that, you're flying, no brakes, the, the knee pad can just end off down near your ankle and not do a thing. But these things are really stick to your leg solid. I believe it's the strongest type of protection that you can get and we'll put what that is on screen. And the padding, I feel good. When I've got these on, I'm, I'm okay to hit up, go for my biggest jumps ever. And uh, I, I'm trying to get bigger jumps and these are really giving me confidence to go for it. They have side protection which is pretty handy. The biggest slam I've had was back at Stromlo, probably going back two and a half months ago. It was about a three meter distance jump, maybe two meters in the air. The wind blew my bike out, very windy Sunday. I went over, slammed on my knee really quite hard and my, my AC joint in my shoulder is still recovering, but my knee was fine and the pad seems pretty fine. I slid quite a long way, but as you can see, not too much damage at all. These have got a lot of life left in them. So I think they're very good quality, very, very tough. They, they breathe okay, you know, super hot days. I'm, I'm gonna feel them, but you know, it's a solid pad, but it's, it's not the hottest pad I've tried wearing, which is pretty amazing. They're flexible. I can definitely ride and not feel like I'm wearing too much. They don't stick out the sides. They're amazing. I, I think I'm gonna look into maybe getting me some other options of IXS for different types of mountain bike riding. But for the enduro trail, the downhill days, the, the just going to the local trail, uh, say Mill Creek and hitting up some big jumps, I wanna be wearing these guys. These are my go-to packs. I love them. So hopefully we helped you out today and gave you some good tips on what knee pads to invest on next. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching. Keep crusading. Pedals out.